Hello once again. Welcome to Iga Online TV. It is a platform that digitizes your running style. We run together and then we achieve together. Remember that you have to subscribe, you like, you can even share this content to other parents, other teachers, or other runners so that we can run together and we achieve together. This is the home of new skills. Every day we'll be running a new skill. So today we start now the programming for all children. What are the programs that the runners or the children can use to get familiar to the use of a computer? So we start with the tattoo art activity. We are going to use a tattoo art activity to draw different shapes. You can use a tattoo art activity to draw a square, to draw a circle, to draw an hexagon, to calculate, to compute, or draw other beautiful diagrams or beautiful shapes. So, but today we are having the first lesson. The first lesson will be based on drawing a square, drawing a rectangle, drawing a rhombus and drawing a parallelogram. We are going to draw four shapes using the tattoo art activity. As you know, a program is just a written instruction. So you have to follow that instruction so that you can do what is written because it is a program. So you will be following steps for drawing those different shapes, but remember that they are written and they cannot be changed. If you change them, you will have a different shape, a shape which is different from what you were expecting to have. Thank you very much. Let's start with our tattoo art activity. Uh, the tattoo art activity, as you can see, the tattoo art activity has some different features and we start with explaining those features so that you can get familiar to them and use them properly the first one we won't explain all of them we are going to explain some of them the first one is forward when you choose forward you are telling the tattoo to move the number of pixels that you will be your you will tell that tattoo to move for example if you choose 100 and then you double click on forward you see that the tattoo moves 100 pixels here we are not using meters, you are not using kilometers, we are using pixels. So the pixels are the units that we use to measure the length of the journey that the tattoo moves. Let's choose, for example, uh, 400. Instead of choosing to 100, we choose 400. Our tattoo will move 400 forward. You see, it moves 400. You see that the length of the two lines are different. So the pixels are used to measure the length of the journey that the tattoo moves. Another one is right. Right or left means that our tattoo will now turn left or turn right. When drawing a square, you know that a square is having the four angles and to draw an angle you have to turn you turn left or you turn right if you don't turn you will not draw that angle for example here when we click on right our tattoo will move will turn right and then another one is left left when we click on left the tattoo will turn left you see now it turns left if you continue uh clicking you see now it is turning left i think you are you see what is happening and then the last one is the arc the arc is having angle you choose whatever angle that you want if you choose uh, 360 you are drawing a circle and radius it is the length of the radius of that circle if you choose a a, a bigger or a, a longer radius you draw a bigger circle without delaying let's start now drawing our different shapes as i told you today we'll be drawing a square we draw a rectangle we draw a rhombus and we draw a parallelogram let's start let's start okay so to draw a square we are using forward and right we are using forward 
choose forward and then we choose the number of pixels or the length of the the sides that we want we hunt a side with 300 pixels and then you turn right 90 degrees because a square has an interior angle of 90 degrees and a square has four sides that is why we make four sides four 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 forwards right we make also four right because we have four angles right forward 300 make sure you choose the same length right 90 degrees forward 300 pixels here i have right 90 and then forward 300 pixels make sure you don't write more than four okay i have made them i have made more than four that is why i'm just removing one forward so when you click when you double click here you have now a full square a square with four sides and four angles and those sides and those angles are all equal because all sides and angles are equal here we can use another instruction or another command called repeat so now let's repeat we are repeating now one side four times and we repeat one angle four times that is why here we start with repeat we are repeating now what you are going to have four times because we have four sides we go on with forward our forward we have chosen for example 200 let's choose this and then we go with right right we choose 90. so when we draw this only forward and right we are drawing only we are drawing only one line which turns but when we repeat it four times we will be having now a complete square because we have repeated one side and one angle four times so these are the ways the two ways you can use to draw a square you can save this for the further use but here we are not saving let's go on with uh, another shape which is a lombus remember that a lombus is a cylindered square it has four sides the difference the only difference is that the angles are not equal the opposite angles are equal here we are choosing four ones you follow you will see the a small change they choose 300 and then we choose right on the first right we choose a certain number in a way that if we add to the adjacent angle we will be having 180 they choose 112 one angle so let's go on with the second one for what remember that all sides are equal and then we choose right for this right we make sure the the number of angle uh, then the size of the angle we choose here when it is added to the first one we make 180 here 180 minus 120 we get 60 so the next angle will be 60 you go on with forward you go on with forward it is 300 pixels you go on with right this right we are choosing now 120 because the opposite angles are equal we go on with forward 300 and then the last one is right with 60 degrees because the opposite angles are equal do you get the difference the sides are equal but the angles are not equal the opposite angles are equal and the other opposite ones are equal so when we draw if you double click here you shall have now a complete a complete and a beautiful a beautiful lombus this is a beautiful lombus opposite angles are equal and opposite sides are equal i think it is very easy for you you only follow what is written here forward right forward right forward right forward right so you make sure you make four sides and four angles let's continue with drawing a rectangle all these shapes are having four sides 
So for a rectangle, the only difference is that the opposite sides are equal and other opposite sides are equal, but all angles are of 90 degrees. Let's start with forward. Let's choose that this one will be 100. We want to make it, for example, the width. And then we go on with right, 90 degrees. So for the next forward, we are not choosing the same length or the same number of pixels as we choose for, we, we have chosen for the first forward. Here, let's make it 400 to make it the length of the, the rectangle that you want to draw. The next one is right of 90 degrees. We go on forward. So the opposite sides are equal. This side is opposite to this one. They must be equal. You go on with right 90 degrees. You continue with forward. The opposite sides are equal. This one will be 400. And then you continue with right 90 degrees. Here we have made how many forwards? Four and four rights. Okay, so let's check if we will be having a rectangle. Wow, it is very, very beautiful. So you don't need you don't need to use a ruler or to use whatever because it is programming. You can use this tattoo art activity to draw the different shapes that you want. For example, you see that you have now a beautiful rectangle with opposite angles equal and uh, sorry, opposite sides equal and other opposite sides equal. So the smallest or the shortest sides are called width and the longest ones are called length. These are the ways, this is the way that we can use to draw a rectangle. You don't need to repeat here because if you repeat, you will be complicating things. Maybe next lesson we shall learn how we can now use repeat to draw a rectangle. So let's finish our today's program with drawing a parallelogram. A parallelogram is like a rectangle but we select that rectangle to make it to make it parallelogram. So we are going to use the same measures, but the only difference is the number of pixels that we shall put on right because we are choosing now the different size of angles to make it cylindered. That is why here, if you stay here on the the diagram that we have, let's use this one and choose only the angles let's choose for example the first angle we make it 111 like this let's make the next one you have the next one to make it 180 you have to take 180 minus 111 you get how many okay you get 69 let's have 69 the next one Will be the same here the opposite angles are equal here we choose 111 and here we choose 69 let's check what we'll be having you see that what we have changed the only we've changed the number of pixels for the right side so that you may have uh, the the cylindered diagram let's have our diagram wow you see that you have now a parallelogram a parallelogram is just like a rectangle but we select that rectangle to make it a parallelogram the opposite angles are equal and other opposite angles are equal but opposite sides are also equal and other opposite sides are equal because we are having a rectangle thank you very much rate me next time but don't forget to subscribe you like you have also to give us a comment you give us a recommendation for the next videos or for the next new skill and uh, remember that you have to share this content to other parents other children or other teachers for for the further use or for running together and achieving together thank you very much and be blessed god bless you